Today I want to talk about a starter motor and how a starter motor starts your engine. So here we have a couple of starter motors, a really big one and a smaller one. And what happens here is we have a solenoid on top of this starter. A starter is simply a motor and it drives whatever. In this case, it's going to engage the, the ring gear on your flywheel and it's going to crank the engine over. Now it does that through a solenoid. And the reason we use a solenoid is so that we can uh, control the flow of power. So what we do is we take the positive terminal of the battery and we connect it to the battery terminal. That insulates the power from the starter at this point. Now the only way we can get that starter to ignite is over here is an S terminal. And that's the signal. And it comes from the key switch from the driver. So when the driver turns that key switch, it excites this solenoid and that solenoid pulls in an armature that makes a contact across the battery terminal and the motor terminal. I guess we could write that, motor. So now, the, uh, as it pulls in, it makes contact, electricity flows into the starter motor and it engages the pinion and the motor starts to turn. When the engine starts up, the operator hears it and he releases it against the spring or the push button on the switch and the starter motor comes back to its rest position and the engine starts. 